Hi folks, and welcome back to Conan Exiles. This is going to be episode 3 of our Savage Wilds playthrough, and we've been here for a couple of days now, and we're getting a bit lonely. So today we need to find ourselves some friends. So usually on a playthrough, I would typically go for a pet follower first, and uh, on the Exiled Lands, the Greater Shieldback is, is my pet of choice. But because of the way the journey steps work out, uh, let's see, where we go? We've got Thrall Taker here, but we don't unlock the pet journey step until after we've completed Thrall Taker. So we're going to do Thrall Taker first this time, and then we'll use that friend, we'll call them, um, to to go and get the, the baby shalebacks, and we'll try and get our shaleback. So we want a shaleback because the shaleback has 10 carry slots, whereas a, a human follower only has 5, and one of them is usually taken up by their weapon, and probably one of them by their, their food. So that only kind of gives you 3. So when you're going out on a gathering mission, they can't carry that much, whereas a, a 10 slot greater shaleback can not only defend itself pretty well, um, it's got the it'll have nine spare slots when you've got its food as well to, to carry more stuff. So we'll, we'll aim for that. But first of all, we're going to do the Thrall Taker journey. So I think that unlocks at level 10 where you can actually do the, the Thrall Taker. Uh, and it's locked. What is the prerequisite for that? Unlock the Thrall Taker knowledge. Okay. So that's easy enough to do. That's under survival. It's near the bottom. There we go. Thrall Taker. And that gives us the truncheon, the bindings, the thrall pot, and the lesser wheel of friendship. Oh, they've spelt friendship wrong here again, look. Let's keep, they keep doing that. Okay, right, so now we can get thrall taker journey. Switch journey, access or place a wheel of friendship. So, that requires... Let me see, where's my hammer? It's a bunch of stone... <laughs> A bunch of, let me see, so it's crafting station, companions, there is the wheel. So it needs 200 wood, 200 stone, 50 iron bars, and 50 twine. Okay, so I've done some gathering in the off-camera. So 200 stone. Take. Uh, 200 wood. Oh, I took the whole lot. 800 of it back. Yeah. Uh, it needs... 50 iron bars, a bunch more iron cooking, take, and 50, also got a whole pile of fibre, fibre, so it's making a whole bunch of twine, 50 twine, take, okay, F, uh, companions, lesser wheel, so we'll just stick it over here, because now I'm not really sure where we'll end up putting it eventually. Okay, craft a truncheon. So a truncheon is in our inventory and it requires five branches, five plant fiber, eight leather. Oh, let's see. Uh, five of them. Five of that. And a bunch of leather. We've got cooking up in here. Eight. There we go. Craft. Done. Now we need to craft the bindings. The bindings are... Where are the bindings? There they are. Fibre bindings. And that needs five twine and five plant fibre. So, five of that. And five of that. Craft. There we go. Right, use truncheon to knock out a fighter or archer. Right, before we do that, to give me a little bit better chance to to be able to do that, I'm going to craft... I'm going to need five light paddings. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to craft the Numidian Scout. Numidian... So this is part of the People of the Dragon DLC. But uh, Numidian Scout... But this... Armor set here gives you extra concussive damage, so it's it's great for increasing your chances of knocking things out. Same materials as the light armor we're wearing, one light padding and some hide. So let's make a helmet, 
a chest piece, leg piece, gloves, and boots. Okay, right, I'm going to let that craft up. I'll speed this bit up. Okay, there we go, that's that crafted, so let's put this on, swap that out, and then if we go to our character, you can see each piece gives us 5% more concussive damage, 4% uh, follower damage, once we get a follower, you get that from each piece, so that's 25% more concussive damage straight away. Uh, there's our dungeon, uh, let me see, okay, use truncheon to knock out a fighter or archer, right, well, up in that camp there, we found out in the last episode, there is one person, and that person is either a fighter or an archer. So we're going to head up here, and we're going to take that. I'm not bothered about what the one is at the moment. We just want to get through this journey step. So let's see. It's an archer. Right. Oh. And it's an archer too. So we can knock him out pretty easily. There we go. Easy. Okay, right. Now we're going to need our bindings. And we can convert a warrior by cra grabbing them, taking them back to our wheel and make it our friend. There we go. On the wheel you go. Uh, obtain gruel. So we have to make some gruel. So for gruel we're going to need some plant fiber. Uh, yeah, we'll take half of that. And some seeds. Let's just take five seeds. Don't want to make too much. Right, chuck that in the campfire. Hit that. So each one gives you ten. There we go. Ten. Twenty. Thirty. Forty. Fifty. That'll do for the moment. Stick that in here. And place a thrall in the world. So now we have to actually convert it. So let that tick away. So I'll let that go and I'll bring you back once he's converted. Okay, see you in a bit. Right, almost there. There we go. Done. So we can take him off the wheel. We can put them on our hotbar. We can place them in the world. There we go. Uh, right. So, 264 health. So, not particularly good. We don't really want an archer too. We kind of need to have a three or higher. But this will do for the moment. We need to give him some steak in order to boost his growth. Uh, let's have a look at these stats. He's got zero in agility, zero in strength, zero in vitality, and three in grit. But he's got a reasonably good strength uh, growth chance. So every level he gets, he's got 88% chance of getting a point in strength. 64 in agility, only 54 in vitality. But if we give him the steak, this shows you this is the foods that he can eat. And this third one here is the one that boosts vitality. This one here, the sixth one, is strength, and that one's agility. So you can give them any of these foods to boost what, what you want to boost. But let's give them that. Check his stats again. And now he's got an extra 14%, which will give him 70% chance to go in vitality. And of course, it goes to be nighttime. Right, so I will let the daylight come before we, we move on to the next stage. Okay, see you in the daytime. Okay, the sun is rising enough to be able to see what we're doing. So the next thing we have to do is instruct the thrall to follow you. So, follow. Now following me. In fact, something I never did. We've got attributes to spend. Should have actually spent them before we went and knocked them out. So we're going to put these into authority, because not only does authority increase the damage your followers deal, it also increases your concussive damage as well. So it actually made them even easier to, to knock out. 
We've got five points, we'll put them in there. That initiates the Irritate perk, which will taunt enemies towards the follower, giving you some peace of quiet. Right, instruct your thrall to attack. Right, come with me. Come with me. Let's go and find something to attack. What have we got? What have we got? There's a shale back. Hello, shale back. Right, point at the shale back. Say, attack. Using bow. Oh, that's actually not bad. Again. Oh, almost killed it. And then he gets his melee weapon. Oh, he's. Where are you going? Oh, he's trying to run away to, to get ranged on it. There we go. So not only did he level up, we've completed that, so now we have to cra convert a crafter. But before I do that, I'm not going to waste that hide. We're going to take that. Right, bring him back. So we have to get a crafter now. So, we've got... Let me see. Up you come. Give me a... Right, you... Oh, no, not that button. Not that button. Uh, stand guard. You can stand guard. Here, that'll do. Uh, and we're going to take. Right, we need to find a crafter. Obviously, there's not one in that camp there. There'll be a bunch in Maroon, but there's so people everywhere will aggro the whole place. But like we started here, the pit, and we went up that way, and we found a uh, the Fari camp. We we just on the edge of it up there. Looks like quite a big camp, but while. Um, we're here at the moment. While I was investigating and getting some uh, hides and stuff like that, over here, just over in that direction, there is a, a small camp just on that cliff over there. So I'm going to head over there and see what we can find over there. Just see it popping up, but I'll I'll bring you back once we're once we're over there. Save you watching me run. Okay. Right, we're just outside the camp now, but the entrance is protected by a hyena. So we're going to take our daggers out. Hello. Right, not oh, missed. Our, our new, is it arcane daggers that we made at the end of the last episode? Let's get the bleed on it. There we go. Down he goes. And again, we'll, we'll take out the skinning knife. And we'll skin him. We're going to need all this help soon. Uh, put the truncheon back on there. Right, let's see what we've got. So we've got an archer there. Do I have arrows? I don't have arrows. I've got a bow, but I don't have arrows. I wonder if I can, oh, can I pull you out. Oh, he's getting closer. Another guy over here. Let's see if we can problem with the archers of course is they won't you're a, you're a fighter. Fighter two. You're a dancer. Right. Take you out. No, not quite. There you go. You're down now. You got arrows. You do have arrows. Oh, you've got healing and you've arrows and you've got all good stuff uh, you've got daggers wrists more arrows some more hide yep yeah, that'll do all right who else have we got come on it would be really handy if you came a bit closer let's try and get him so he doesn't back away Skull Ridge. That sounds like a good name for a Defari camp. Uh, nothing of interest. Uh, we've not got any crafters here. What are you? Fighter again? And finish you off. There's a sorcerer there, I can see. We'll take your arrows. That a pirate school. He also had some hide. Are a sorcerer three? Mm, don't need you yet, but we will at some point in time. Ooh, 
that was an explosion and a half. Uh, what's that? Skeletal hood, leather satchel, healing wraps. Yep, cool. Should have to be skinning them as well. Any sorcerer's scroll? There's a book. Corrupted mask. Mm. Chest. Uh, more arrows. Put the arrows on the boat so they're ready. Any sorcerer's scrolls? Nope. Come on, one of you must be a, a crafter of some sort. You're obviously an archer. You're definitely a crafter. An armorer one. Oh, perfect. We want an armorer one. But can we just knock them both out? Ooh, that was a bit of a. I will drink your blood. Your heart will be eaten. Fun. Out you go. Cut you out. And then I can finish you off. that. Right, now I can skin them. As brutal as that may seem. Uh, let's eat a bit of food. Right, we'll need to keep you. Skin you. All hide is good. Oh, she disappeared. Oh no, she didn't. No, she didn't. Okay, that's fine. Right, is that... Is that everybody? No, there's somebody else over there. But yeah, the armor one will allow us to stitch hide together to make thick hide for making thick leather. There's another book. Prayer to Yog. Eh, some drums and some decorations. Yeah, nothing very exciting. Where did that person go? You're wandering off. You're another archer. Comes to us. Hiding in the bushes. Right. Oh, oh, that was a fatality, but. Okay. Right, uh, nope, back up here. Let's go get our armor a friend. That's a any any level of crafter, any level of armor will do. For both the crafter thing and also for the stitch. Six. Get you on the rope and let's head back to base. And I will see you as we run back there. Okay, see you in a bit. Right, here we are, back at base. So stick you on the wheel. Crafter, what does it say? Assign it to this, so we now have to actually tame it. On you go. We'll get that sorted out, and uh, again, I will bring you back when it's ready. Okay, see you soon. Okay, the wheel has stopped turning. We have a friend. Go at Defari Armorer 1. So we need to put her on a station, and the Tanner's table is where we want to put her. Because as I said before, it unlocks stitch, which allows us to stitch normal hide and twine together to make heavy or thick hide, which will become heavy leather. So let's let's get cracking on that, because that takes a little while. Uh, let's look at what we've got over here. So we got the prayer to Yog, so we can use that. That le teaches us the all the Yog emotes. We also, this other one wasn't a papyrus scroll, it's dance instructions for the war dance. So if we use that, we'll learn the war dance. Let's have a look. Let's see, dance. Uh, war dance. So it's the the one that's a bit like the haka. There we go. Pretty cool. 
Um, and the last thing we got off of the sorcerer was Lezer Satchel, which gives us the dead sorcerer's map and some notes. We'll chuck that away. So let's look at the dead sorcerer map. Oh, okay. So a little square thing. In what? Oh, another tier of the battle pass done. Alright, so let's have a look on the map. Oh, that must be it there. I guess this is, this looks like jungle kind of area, and that looks like must be where you go to learn sorcery on the Savage Wilds map. I definitely have a quick scoot around. Uh, I don't see anywhere else like that. That's bigger up north. Mm, no, into the snow. So yeah, that must be that must be it there. That looks the lo the location. But we'll worry about it another day. Right, so our journey is now complete. So we can claim our reward. And okay, oh we didn't actually get the orb. That's a shame. We only got the recipe for the orb. I was hoping that we were going to get an orb that we could use. I'd forgotten it's just the recipe. Uh, I don't have any space to put this. Let me chuck away the bees. We don't need that at the moment. Okay, so we need to go hunting. I think we'll go hunting at the other camp to see if we can find a friend who's better than this one. Uh, I don't think we'll take you with us because there's a fair chance you will just die. Yeah. Let's let's just go ourselves. Okay, I'm going to run back to that other camp that's over in that direction that we encountered in episode one, and I'll see you when we get there. Yep, you're right. I'm not at the camp. I'm back at base because I've had a change of heart. I've decided that instead of going hunting for a level three thrall right now or a level three friend right now, we're going to move on to the pets. Because if I've got a greater shield back who can do a bit more tanking for us, because they've got a bit health, that might help us out, get our get our, our friend from a camp. So we're going to move on, and we're going to do Beastmaster Journey Step, or at least start the Beastmaster Journey Step, and uh, get ourselves some pets. So, first thing we need to do is unlock Apprentice Tamer Knowledge. So, Knowledge survival and then we'll go back into that thrall taker section and then we've got apprentice tamer there we go now we can make a small animal pen that we can do one animal at a time or we can do the huge animal pen that can do five at a time and because of the odds we want to do five at a time so i'm going to do the big pen here so we're going to need our construction hammer we're going to need make the animal pen which is 300 stone 400 wood and 20 twine okay 300 stone tick 400 wood tick and 20 twine tick i'm also going to swap my armor back so we've got encumbrance or carry capacity armor on instead of the knockout stuff uh, and we're going to take you with us so you can help carry some babies uh, a bit over here is huge overlapping with another object or terrain come on Too far away. Oh my god. I need somewhere for it to fit. Oh, I saw it green. There we go. Right, we can place it there. There we go. So we can hold five in here. So we're going to need to get five baby shieldbacks. But luckily enough, there's a whole bunch of baby shieldbacks just along this coast here. We won't, we won't be able to carry them all, but with our friend helping us, let's see if they aggro when we pick this up. They do indeed. Not a problem. We'll just have to 
skin you. Uh, let's see, skin a knife. Get some more hide off of you. So we've got one. There's another one there. You're going to aggro. At least the babies don't run away here. I think I'm sure on the main Excel map, when you aggro the parents, the babies run away. Let's carve you up. Boop. Oh, made a noise. You hear that? Uh, so you can carry those two. More over here. There's one, there's one there in the bushes. Lead out oh, and get shot by an arrow. And that way, right, where did it go? There it is. Got you. Uh, I saw another one floating about around here somewhere. There it is. Got you. Uh, let me swap that out for your cudgel. Right, I need, I need one more. I need one more. Is that all the ones that are along here? Right. Well, what I'll do is I will go and stick these four in the pen and get them started while I go and gather up a couple more. Let's head over. We'll need to get our desert berries out of our go night time again. We gathered the good desert berries last time and when I did my iron run off camera I went and with a sickle and got even more. So we've got a whole bunch here so we'll need five. We only need one per animal. Come over here. Right, so there's one. You've got one, two, three. We'll drop that in there. Get them going. Right, and we'll we'll go and get some more, and we'll bring you back when they're when they're ready. Okay, see you soon. Okay, we're back from the second chill back run, so let's see what we actually got. Uh, all rubbish. Just standard chill back, so we're going to throw all these away. We're going to put in the second batch. Check them in. We're going to need some more desert berries. Run back over here. They're in here, I think. Yes, they are. We need five more of them. And let's get the second batch going. And we'll we'll see what we get from there. Okay, see you in a bit. Right, let's see how batch two got on. Here we go. We got one at last. So we can chuck these ones away. And we've got a greater shield back. We may as well put the put the third batch in just for fun since we've actually went and got them and uh, chuck them in and we'll see see if we get another one out of there right so place your pet let's run over here and do it over here because we need to bring our fighter back not a fighter it's an archer isn't it right so six place you down right so you can stand guard back there again so this guy starts off with almost 2,000 HP straight away, right at level 0, but as this guy, even at level 3, is still under 517. Uh, food, he takes desert berries, gives him a better chance, but I, re I really don't fuss too much about pets um, leveling. But yeah, desert berries is what we can feed him, and we happen to have a bunch of that. And that should give him... We feed your pet, we put the food in him, you have to actually click on it and use it. There we go, feed your pet, give your pet an instruction, but we should have... He's got 8 vitality, he's got the bonus, oh look at that stats, rubbish. 
good chance, 100% chance in grit, so you'll get more armor, but really bad strength and agility, and not that great vitality either, so even, even with the 14%, it's not huge, but it's not too bad. Right, let's see, so follow me, give your pet an instruction, so we can tell him to go, uh, so he's not even going to be able to kill that in one hit, is he? Let's try, see what happens. Attack that. Not nearly. Oh, it didn't run away. Uh, level up your pet. Okay. Right, let's go. Let's find something to level up on. Mr. Shieldback. How much damage you got to do to that? Of course, we can help out. But not a huge amount of damage. But the idea is they'll have more health so they can survive a bit longer, although their armor is still pretty poor. Uh, Beastmaster complete, there we go. So journey step complete, so we get the rat catcher's whistle. Go. Right, it's up 2,200 now. Uh, where's the armor value? 259 armor, so pretty poor armor. Oh, look at that little grey box. Weird. Okay, right, I'm going to just go and take him out, and I'm going to level him up a little bit um, before we do anything else, and then I'll bring you back after that. Okay, see you in a bit. Okay, so we finally have our friend up to level 5, and uh, you can see they've got 3091 HP, which is not too bad, and if we go into here, it's up to 499 armor now. So it's, it's getting there, and that should be enough HP to, to go and tank for us uh, when, we, when we go looking for our friend. Unfortunately, it's taken me a lot longer than I expected to get him leveled up because the creatures around here are like it's shieldbacks and gazelles and stuff like that, so it's uh, pretty low level stuff. So it's taken, a, taken quite a while to, to get it up. So unfortunately I've run out of time to make any more of this episode. Um, unfortunately, real life has caught up with me. So we're going to have to actually go hunting for a, for a new human friend in the next episode instead. But this one, it's, this one's been pretty successful. We've done the Thrall Taker journey step. So we, we got our archer here. So it's only an archer too, so not that great. We lucked out in the crafter we got was an armorer. So we can put her to work on the armorer's table. And she's crafted up a whole bunch of thick hide by stitching together normal hide and twine and then we can chuck that in the tannery here and we can hit that and turn we're turning that into thick leather so when we do get a decent um friend we'll straight away be able to make them a um, thick leather or heavy heavy leather sorry and heavy armor to give them much more protection but yeah that's going to be the next episode oh, weird awkward stance there so that's going to have to do it for today um, time has gotten away from us, but next time, next time we'll go taming. But yeah, that's going to be it. So thank you so much for watching. If you liked the episode, please hit the like button, hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now.